New update available. Would you like to update? Yes, I would. Thank you. Updating Minecraft. Do -do 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 hey, Minecraft beta 1.7.2. Oh, it's not underscore O2. How crazy. Um, woo, face punch. Uh, yes, guess what? It's time to do some pistons. Hooray. Uh, I am here in Awesome Landscape House in the Hall of Bricks. And I will go ahead and get some pistons together, and we'll go do some cool stuff. And if you want to see the recipe, you can go elsewhere. There's like a million piston videos on YouTube. I'm sure you can find it. I'm going to go ahead and make some stuff, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, the sun is going down. Uh, I've been starting to do a little bit of piston experiments, but of course... Uh, one of the first things I wanted to do is one of the things that I've always wanted, and you can go back into, uh, uh, I think like episode like 37 or 38, I was talking about uh, wanting to be able to create light switches to light up an area at night, uh, as well as control water, and you can do both of those things with pistons. And so here I have kind of a basic street lamp. I'm also demonstrating the fact that fences now stack. You could kind of stack them before, but now you can just place them right on top of one another without any... Uh, hassle before you had to kind of jump through hoops in order to do it. But now as the sun goes down, this area will start getting a little bit dark. But I can hit a switch, and it will open up uh, this little thing, and I can hit the switch again, and that will go away. And I guess I need it to be a little bit darker for it to be easier to see. Uh... Alright, so light on, light off. Light on, light off. You get the idea. I'm going to go sleep for the night uh, where it's safe, and in the morning we will do some more cool stuff with pistons. With pistons you can also build some really cool uh, and very compact kind of repeating circuits. Uh, here is one basic one. The idea being that if there's a block here, uh, this will complete the circuit, which will then tell the piston to fire and push the block out of the way, which will then break the circuit, and then the piston will get turned off, and since it's a sticky piston, it'll push the block back uh, and just keep doing that repeatedly. And so you can use that as a way to kind of create an on-off switch that just repeats. And you can change the distance in a redstone repeater in order to change the kind of the timing and how long or slow it is in terms of the little tick delays in between each thing. Uh, I'm not going to go deep into redstone circuitry. Uh, we haven't really talked about it before uh, in Minecraft Exploration and Tactics. I will link you to a video, so if you are so inclined to learn a whole lot more about it, uh, there's a great video that shows off uh, a number of cool demonstrations with this kind of stuff and crazy, crazy things uh, that you can do with uh, redstone and piston logic. Uh, but in any case, it occurs to me that a lot of the other cool things I want to do are going to require more than one sticky piston, which means I'm really going to need to find slimes. And I have been, I spent like an hour this morning just going down to bedrock and like tunneling in different directions and opening up different caverns. I still haven't found any slimes, uh, but I will find them and we will be able to do more stuff with sticky pistons. In any case, there are some other new things in 1.7 and so we should go ahead and show them off next. So I'll be right back. In 1.7, we can also create shears, and shears have two purposes. Uh, one, I see some sheep over here, uh, is that you can shear sheep uh, and get their wool by right-clicking on them with the shears, and you get more wool. This time I got four pieces of wool from this one, and it doesn't injure the sheep. Uh, and so if you've always felt guilty about hurting the sheep and punching them in order to get their wool, now you don't have to feel guilty anymore. I think it gives you like, I don't know, like two to five pieces of wool or something crazy. Uh, but what's much more exciting is you can sh use shears uh, to cut off leaf blocks that you can then pick up and place in other places. Uh, and so that is uh, cool because leaf blocks are a cool uh, building material. Right now it's the case that leaf blocks will decay. Uh, just like normal leaf blocks uh, with trees. And so if I get some leaf blocks in hand and I just put them out here. Uh, they'll start decaying since they're not next to a piece of wood. Uh, I can put some wood down next to them in order to like have them kind of live forever. Uh, and it sounds like they're going to change that behavior in 1.8, but I kind of prefer this behavior where they decay unless you have wood next to them. Um, and so you just saw that one decaying, but if I go ahead and grab some wood and go thunk, then that one will stay around forever. Um, and so the leaf blocks are kind of fun. The fact that they decay, uh, as someone pointed out, means you can use them as kind of 
stairs to climb up somewhere really high and then get to wherever you're going. I'll just take some fall damage. Um, and then just walk away, and a few minutes later, they'll just kind of evaporate. And so you can use it as kind of like a temporary elevator uh, that then goes away and doesn't leave, you know, a big pile of bricks in your landscape somewhere. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I expect, yeah, now I can use uh, leaves and wood to kind of like make decorative hedges around the outside of your house. Uh, and since, ironically, Awesome Landscape House right over here is probably... Uh, the most beautiful of all of my houses, ironically, because it's just like a piece of dirt that's like three high. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll start uh, decorating this up. I really like the landscape out here. Isn't that an awesome landscape? I really like that. Um, yes. And so those are a few of the other new features. Um, there are some other cool things I want to build with pistons, uh, but unfortunately I'm going to need more uh, sticky pistons, which means I need more slimes. And so I'm going to go back underground uh, and hunt for some slimes for a little while, and yeah, I'll bring you guys back in when I either find them or go work on something else. I found a slime! Right now there's only one, but now I know that I have a chunk that slimes will spawn in. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and kill him. I think you kill him by punching him. Yes. And there's a slime ball. Great. Great, great, great. So before I forget, I'm going to put a torch right in the center so that I know this chamber could spawn a slime. Uh, but just, I will give you a quick tour of what I've been doing. And basically, I've just been uh, walking around different areas and opening up different passages of different sizes, kind of all over this crazy map and going in a few different directions. Where do I have another big uh, area that I hollowed out? So I hollowed out like a little tunnel over here, and I hollowed out a kind of bigger tunnel over here, and some big area over here, and I've just been hollowing all around. Uh, but now I know that over in this corner slimes can spawn, and I'm so happy because this is just like five minutes after I left you guys previously. Um, and so I am going to spend a little bit of time basically digging out the back of this area uh, in order to make this area bigger since I just saw a slime over in the corner over here. And uh, yeah, then we'll let some time pass and hopefully I'll have a few more slimes and then we'll be in business. Okay, I got lost underground. I was carving my way back up. Uh, I ended up under sandstone, and there's some sand, and now I can see the sun rising, but there's dirt above me, and so I have no idea where I am. Hopefully it's somewhere safe. <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to happen one day. So these are the perils of building your house uh, on sand, which is you might tunnel up under it at some point. Well, that could have been much worse. Uh, great. Okay, well, I got lost, but I didn't get lost very far from home. Um, yes. So, unfortunately, the fact that I got lost means that I've been away from my slime cave, although I think it's almost, like, directly below me, where I am right here right now. And so, let's see if we go back down, if we happen to get lucky and there's lots of slime. So, I'll bring you guys back in in a moment. All right, it just started thundering, but I think I also might have heard a slime. I've made this area... Yikes! That is loud. I made this area bigger. Alright, still no slimes. I hear slimes, and it's somewhere different than where I heard them before. <gasps> Slime! My new friend! Alright, so this is another little one. Oh, I gave him a little love tap, and he didn't give me any slime balls. Uh, but I just found them around here, and so I guess I'm going to hollow out this area now. Um, yep, and continue to see what I can do to try to get lucky with slimes. Just so I don't lose track, I went ahead and made a sign that says, I saw a slime right around here, and now I'm going to hollow around this area. Alright, near where I just saw the slime... I hear a zombie splashing around in water, uh, which means there's a cave system above me somewhere, and that will count against the hostile mob count, and so I don't like that. And so I think I'm going to go up and try to find that zombie. Alright, I hear the zombie. However, I see lots of lava, which is not what the zombie is swimming in, because if the zombie was swimming in lava, he would be dead. Oh, you're a skeleton, too. Aha! Maybe it's over here. Oops. Okay. Ah, wrong... There we go.
All right, well, apparently they're further up. Ah, there we go. Ah, yikes. All right, so they're trapped in some water over there. And it appears to be just a zombie and a skeleton. All right, I think I killed the skeleton. No, I didn't. All right, maybe now I did. Yep. Oh my goodness! I have see heard or seen that this could happen, but I've never seen it myself. There is a reed growing underground, like way... Oh my gosh, and there's some diamonds! I saw them this time! Uh, yeah. Oh wow, this was an exciting find. Like, there's all kinds of craziness over here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a walkway over here. And light a little bit of this up, including the diamond. Uh, wow, that's just crazy. This is one of the things I love about Minecraft, is there will just be random stuff that you don't expect, despite the fact that you've been playing the game for however long I've been playing the game. Ooh. All right, oops, just took some fall damage. Um, but yeah, I would never have expected to find that, like, deep underground. And so that's just cool and exciting. I see some redstone under the water under there, too. Okay, how many diamonds we got here? At least three. One, two... Three. All right, that might be it. Still pretty nice. Oh, and I can't carry them because I'm carrying worthless stuff like tons of gravel. Hmm. Do I want the gravel? Oops. Do I want the gravel or do I want the diamonds? I think I'll take the diamonds. Thank you. Um. Wee. <laughs> Darn it. Wasn't deep enough. All right. So enough of that little side quest. Uh, we've gotten rid of some areas that enemies could spawn in. And so now, let's go back down to my slime spawning areas. So here's where I saw one slime, as evidenced by my sign. I saw a slime right around here. Let's go back to my other slime spawning area. Oh, now that I have three diamonds, I can make a diamond pick again down here. Without having to go back up to the surface to find all my other crap. And so I have two torches on the wall, so that basically as I'm coming down this long hallway, I can see that and know that this is my way out, because my staircase back out is right over there. And if I go around here, I saw slimes to the right. Indeed, the first slime I saw was down here. But still empty. Aha! I was listening for skeletons and I found one. Where'd he go? There he is. Aha! Take that. I hear a creeper as well, I believe. Whoa! Gosh darn it. That's... Whoa! My sword just broke. People have been warning of that for ep many episodes. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's run back here. Seal myself off for a moment. Uh, I hear lots of skeletons. You don't suppose there's a dungeon down there, do you? Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. Get my skeleton, uh, my skeleton ready. Sword. Ah, too far away! Fortunately, he's stuck. Alright, let's, uh, get a torch out again. Ah! <laughs> Thank goodness there's such poor shots in small spaces. Uh, let's see. Any sign of a dungeon? Nope. Maybe just an open area where eight skeletons spawned, or however many that was. Alright, nothing over here. Uh, I'm back to wearing iron armor, by the way. And yeah, full suit of iron armor makes me a whole lot braver. As you can tell there. Alright, and what else we got over here? Darn it, I just ran out of torches. And there's some darkness straight ahead. Which means we need to sing, torches, torches, torches! 
Brian needs more torches in order to prevent enemies from spawning right in front of him. And it works. Yet more proof that the game can hear you singing and uses that information to prevent enemies from spawning. It's science, people. You can't deny it. Uh, and we get over to some lava over here, but it looks like things continue on, and so I will try to... Oops. Not kill myself as I plug up the lava, and I didn't quite plug it up. There we go. Okay, and so all of that turns out to be a dead end. But that's good. It's more stuff that's lit up. When it's lit up, it means the other bad hostile enemies cannot spawn, which means the only hostiles that will be spawning will be slimes, which works for Brian. And there's some uh, stuff to mine here, and so I'll go ahead and grab it. One thing I should point out is that I am mining redstone now when I see it, basically because I think there's a lot of cool piston contraptions that I would like to create, uh, and most of those are going to require uh, a bit of redstone wiring as well as some redstone repeaters. Uh, that's why I was cooking up smooth stone before, is because I wanted to make more redstone repeaters. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're going to have cool stuff ahead. Still need a few more slimes, though. So I'm going to mine some more stuff over here, and I will see you guys in a little bit. In baseball, to hit for the cycle uh, is to have a single and a double and a triple and a home run all in the same game. Uh, in Minecraft, hitting for the cycle uh, is finding a small area where you find all the different ores. And I did manage to find coal and gold and lapis and redstone. I haven't found any diamond or iron kind of in this little area. But it occurs to me that now with pistons, uh, you can kind of fake hitting for the cycle by pushing the bricks around. And so this is also something that I just wanted to try. So I'm going to create some pistons and try pushing some of these ores around just for fun. So I will see you in a moment. All right, so suppose I wanted this redstone closer to this lapis and this gold. I believe I can just place a piston on the wall. Oops. Uh, pistons like to basically kind of be facing you, and so you have to uh, be careful how you aim them. Oops, that's not where I want it to be either. Great. Uh, so now the piston's right there, and now I can just place any old other brick in the way. And then I will put a lever here, and I will go thunk. Neat. And we push the redstone over. Um, and yeah, I could use a more elaborate mechanism to make this more automatic. But basically, just by doing that, I have pushed those two redstone bricks a couple of bricks over so that now they're in this cluster. And so one could imagine just kind of like mining out a whole area and then bringing all the different ores together. And that would actually look pretty cool because they're like different colors and it kind of looks pretty. Um, yes. And so... I don't know that I'm going to spend a lot of time doing that, um, but it's something you could do that could be fun. Uh, and if you want to, for some reason, you know, fake pictures of hitting for the cycle in Minecraft, uh, that would become an easy way to do it because you could just push all the bricks together. Um, yes, and it also confirms the theory that basically I could put pistons on the bottom and push all of these blocks up to the surface and then have redstone and lapis and uh, different things just in a big cluster on the surface if I really wanted to. Um, I think that would be a waste of time, but uh, if you're so inclined, uh, go ahead and run with that. Okay, here's a final teaser for tomorrow. I'll show how to make more of this. We'll call this one the inchworm. Pretty cool. 